Oxygen OS is becoming quite popular among the users as it offers a stock experience just like the Pixel devices, but it also has its own list of customization options that you even won't find in pure stock Android. And these extra customization options and tricks will help you improve your user experience even further. And that's exactly why today I'll be showing you 10 lesser known Oxygen OS tricks that you should be trying right now. Now before we get started, I would like to make some things clear that the tricks that I'm gonna show you guys in this video is available on OnePlus 5 stock ROM. But if you are using OnePlus 3 or 3T, then you will find all these tricks only on the beta ROM. So now with that being said, let's start. The first one on the list is the Bluetooth audio codec. Nowadays 3.5mm jack is becoming less standard as the major smartphone manufacturers are getting rid of it and focusing more towards wireless audio. Now you must be wondering that OnePlus 5 still has the 3.5mm jack then why I am saying that. If you go to the advanced setting in the setting menu, you will find an option called Bluetooth audio codecs, which offers three of the most popular audio codecs that is aptX, aptX HD and SBC, which will improve your music listening experience over your Bluetooth headset and this feature is recently introduced in Android Audio. Next up we have Smart Wi-Fi Switcher which was introduced in OnePlus 3T. Now what it does is, when you enable this feature, it will automatically switches between the Wi-Fi and mobile network depending on the signal strength. So if the mobile network strength is low, it will automatically switch to the available Wi-Fi network. Cool, isn't it? Next up we have Fine Tune the Screen. OnePlus 3 or 3T and the OnePlus 5 comes with an optic AMOLED display which is very vibrant and has one of the best 1080p AMOLED display in the market right now, which offers a somewhat exaggerated picture that many people will love. However, it doesn't make for the most color accurate experience, particularly when it comes to video or photo viewing. Fortunately, OnePlus has included a range of alternative screen calibration options for those that care about such things. If you go to the display setting then screen calibration, here you will find 4 color presets from which you can choose. My favorite one is the DCI P3 option which is a common US American film industry color space standard. It results in a nicely balanced slightly more natural hue that somewhat look less icy than the default settings. If you are one of those who like to pay using virtual wallet like Paytm or any other service then you will be glad to know that OnePlus has made your payments more secure and easy to access in the form of quick pay. By using this, you can pay by just long pressing the home screen with the registered fingerprint and the app will pop up and scan the QR code to make the payment. You will find this option in the security section of the setting menu. Now if you go to the display setting, here you will find an option called lift up display which basically turns on the screen when the phone is lifted and after using this feature, I was really surprised at how well it is working. Every time I lift up my phone, it automatically triggers the ambient display which I think is kind of cool and it also lets you catch up with your notifications without even touching your phone. Next up we have an easter egg which I think is worth sharing. So basically when you open the pre-installed calculator app and type 1 plus equals 2, just see what happens. The navigation keys could be very irritating while playing games and to overcome this OnePlus has added a gaming mode that will basically lock the capacitive keys while gaming and you can also enable or disable do not disturb mode according to your preference. You can also add games for which you want this to enable automatically. I guess most of you guys may have heard of a new feature called adaptive icons that is recently introduced in Android Oreo. But what if I tell you that Oxygen OS already has a feature in Android Nougat which is quite similar. Press and hold the home screen and tap setting, then icon pack. This lets you choose between three default options, that is OnePlus with the stock material icon, rounded and square. Additionally, you can also apply any third party app from the Play Store and this type of feature we usually find in a custom ROM. Next up we have custom actions. In Oxygen OS, you can assign secondary functions to all the three of the capacitive keys. Each button can have two secondary functions, launched by either a long press or a quick double tap. There are several options in total which include opening recent app, launching search assistant, turning off the screen, opening the camera, voice search, opening the last used app and opening shelf. You will find this option in a setting menu under the button category. Another cool new Oxygen OS feature is the reading mode. Activating reading mode tones the OnePlus color right down to monochrome and shift the whites to a much warmer tone. To access this, head over to setting menu then display. Here you will find an option called reading mode. 
Now you can manually turn on reading mode with the appropriate toggle, but a better idea is to add as for reading mode so that it activates automatically at the appropriate points. So guys, these are 10 most useful tricks of Oxygen OS that you should definitely try right now. If you think we should have added some other tricks also, then do let us know that in the comment section. And for more future videos like this, don't forget to press that bell icon to get notified every time I release a new video. So this is Samir signing off and I'll see you guys in my next one.